Hello and welcome back to Hebrew Bible Verse a Day. So, big news today, big news, because we're actually going to read the last verse of chapter 2. That's right, it's uh, chapter 2, verse 25, and this is the last verse of chapter 2 before, please God, tomorrow we move on to chapter 3 in its excitement. It's once again a pretty short pasuk, pretty short verse, so let's get into it. We'll read the Hebrew first. And then see what it means. Vayahiyu shnehem arimim haadam veishto velo yit bo shashu. Read that again. Vayahiyu shnehem arimim haadam veishto velo yit bo shashu. What's that mean? Now they were both naked, the man and his wife, but they were not ashamed. Let's go back to the Hebrew, read it a bit more slowly, and explain what's going on. Vayihiyu shnehem. And the two of them, Aramim, were naked. Ha'adam ishto, that's Adam, and his wife. Remember, Isha, his wife, Ishto is his wife. For law, law, like no. Yit boshashu, yit boshashu, they were not embarrassed. Lehit bayesh is to embarrass someone, and uh, that's in, in modern Hebrew, and you can see it's the same root here. Just uh, noticed a couple of things just came to mind. Firstly, that uh, the the root here is actually uh, bet shin or bet shin he. And uh, it's the same uh, root as dry, yavesh, and also where, lil bosh. I don't know, I haven't actually looked up if there's any connection here and if anyone comments on it, but uh, just slightly interesting that they all use the root of bet and shin. So we've got a line underneath the va yehiyu, va a yud, yu, a he, he, and then yud and vav with a dot on its tummy is a u, and then we've got a shin with a dot to the top right, otherwise it would be a sin, so it's sh, not sa. We've got an e, e, shne, hem, and you can see the nun and the yud together is not ne, it's more of a ne like a horse, ne. Vayushnehem A is ayin with an a a Reish a vav with a dot is its tummy again a mem with a dot underneath which makes it me a ru mim and the mem goes with the yud and the mem so fit the final mem behind it. Then we've got an a a a ha adam. And that's uh, like Adam, Adam, the person, the first man, V Ish To, and his wife, Isha Shelo, his wife, V Lo, and not Yit Boshashu. They were not embarrassed. And the, the makeup of the word Yit Boshashu, uh, grammatically, it's, it's quite unusual and uh, probably beyond this video to go into it but there's an idea that it's not actually they were not ashamed it's kind of they will not be ashamed also so it's it's quite a complicated uh, grammatical makeup there so what's going on um they were naked and they weren't ashamed why were they not ashamed they were not ashamed because they didn't have the ability to be ashamed yet. They didn't have, um, it's a very bad word, but evil inclination. They didn't know the difference between right and wrong. They didn't know that there was in any embarrassed embarrassment about nudity. Uh, a bit like a baby lacks this knowledge as well and will happily walk around naked without being embarrassed. It, it comes to a point in our lives where we associate nudity with sex and we're meant to be modest 
about sex and I, th- I think that's where the embarrassment comes from but for Adam and Eve it didn't actually come until they had eaten from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and at this point they haven't they haven't actually done that there's different ideas given to kind of what they weren't embarrassed about or why they weren't embarrassed or why we are embarrassed about nudity and one of the ideas really is that at this point there was no more embarrassment looking at someone else's genitals and than looking at their face or any other part of the body and even if someone is completely comfortable with nudity I think there still is some embarrassment at looking at somebody else naked. Um, just an idea that I had, um, and this has really got to do with man and wife, that or, or, or when there isn't a sexual chemistry or any possible sexual chemistry between you and someone else, like if you're not attracted to men, for example, um, men don't have a problem being naked in front of a man. There's no real embarrassment. um, And that is, I think, because there's no sexual attraction at all between them. Um, But another example is between man and wife. Now, hopefully, there is sexual attraction between them. But being naked in a non-sexual way, uh, I think, does have a lack of embarrassment, let's say. And perhaps embarrassment is the wrong word, but an interesting factor nonetheless. Okay, what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to actually lane it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, please do subscribe to our channel if you're not already, then you'll be informed of when the latest videos come in. It's generally around once a day. Please do like this video. It really, really helps me and I'd really appreciate it and it really keeps me going making these videos if I know that people do actually like them and last but not least if you leave me a comment that's great I read all of the comments I generally reply to all of them as well and I really appreciate hearing from you if you do want to be reminded when there's a a new video uh, by email you can go to hebrewbibleverseaday.com enter your email address and you will be informed when a new video comes out so end of chapter two thank you very much for sticking with me through this chapter. I think it took about four or five years as we had a a few years break in the middle, but we got there in the end. And so thank you very much. And please God, we will speak soon.